Lori, what are some misconceptions that you get from potential students for the DCN program? The first myth, I think, is that whole term DCN, Doctorate in Clinical Nutrition. And the DCN was actually termed by the first DCN program, who really does have an emphasis on clinical nutrition. And we didn't want to do any um, confusion with, with the um, the degree, so we stuck with the DCN, but... The emphasis of the program is on leadership and developing clinical dietitian leaders in all areas of practice. And I think that that has really helped me learn a lot of different skills and techniques that I can use to um, improve things from when I was previously a military member to learning different styles that are more effective in the dietetic and clinical and advocacy communities. We have a nutrition core, they're gonna get clinical, they're gonna get public health, we have a research core, but we're really striving to take them to that next level. Um, and so in that way, I think we're, we're very different than what you would think of a, traditionally with a DCN. I think that what I'm most proud of in this program is that I feel so connected with our students. At the beginning of every semester, we have an opportunity to connect with our instructors prior to the beginning of the course, which is a wonderful opportunity because we understand the foundation of the course through the instructor. We know the expectations and we're able to make a physical connection being the fact that it is a distance learning program, you don't feel like you're isolated. I think we're really redefining remote learning because even though our students are online, they are, I feel really connected with them. I talk with them almost every week and I cry with them. I, you know, I'm happy with them. And I think that's something that is very unique about our program. Absolutely. The way, um, the cohorts are designed when they get to meet each other for orientation. It's a, it's a fun way to get involved and get to see everyone and work together for a short period of time. And even though they will go through the program at, at different s speeds, they still form those bonds. And, and even though you may have very loving families and friends, nobody gets it like someone else in the program. So, so what do you... What are you most proud of? I think that what I'm most proud of about our program is the flexibility. I mean, you even just start with a program of study and in the nutrition core, you get to make a choice um, between you can either take um, teaching in higher ed or advanced counseling. That's, that's just the beginning. In the research core, you get to choose between epidemiology and uh, or qualitative research. So really kind of matching what your research might be as to which one that you would take. Um, and I think, you know, in the residency, we ask them, what, what do you want to develop? What is, what is your goal? It just happened that at the time when I was at, ready to choose my residency, I started a new position. And so I really wanted to work on my leadership skills. So the faculty that I was really involved with was just like, well, why don't you work with someone who's in a higher position with, than you in your new position? So I was able to work with that higher position person as my research mentor. We're really helping them um, you know, look at their setting, what are they interested in, and how can we make that you know, something, it, a research project. So we have some students that have worked with the academy and um, worked with the, um, the Andy system and looked at um, the impact that nutrition um, is having with diabetics. We've had um, people do dissertations on um, food as medicine programs. So it really, you know, we just really help give them what they need to go that, that next level being able to apply some of the things that I'm learning was key. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was the best experience. I will always say that I'm very thankful to the program. I think we're a great team, don't you? I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs>